Hey everyone, this is Buzzword, and today I'm going to be looking at a Siege Up PC build for the game. So as you can see, uh, the mouse cursor on the screen, and we have a version that is the same as the open beta that is currently uh, available at the moment on Discord. So if you haven't already seen the beta version for iOS and Android, go to the Discord, uh, join, and uh, check out the link for the download to play it. So this PC version is currently only for beta testers, but the developer plans to release it onto itch.io uh, once it's more polished, and also on Steam early in December this year. Um, so check out the page on Steam, uh, maybe add it to the wish list as well to be notified when it's available as well. In this PC version, I'll be showcasing you the controls of the game and how the general experience of it is. So I'm just going to create a quick game of 2v2 with bots and we'll see the loading times. Now usually the loading times on mobile would be probably a bit more longer but um, for PC we can see that it is quite quick. Um, and we will be able to jump into the game very soon and there we are. Uh, we do have hotkeys as well, so I'm pressing Q at the moment to get this worker. So I've pressed it four times now and it has queued up four workers. The controls, uh, this is actually typical of other RTS games where you use your mouse to drag and select units. And then we use the right click to issue the actions. So in this case, uh, we can select all our units right here and right click to move and right click to gather resources or um, attack later if we have um, military units. So with the market, we actually have a new hotkey for that. So if you press and hold shift, we see that we could sell or buy um, greater quantities. So for example, if you just click once, you only um, get 10 or oh, you buy a lower amount of food. Whereas if you press shift, you buy a greater amount. So I just bought 50 food right there. Um, normally if I buy, it's just 10 food. But that's really good so that you don't have to kind of like sit there and keep spamming the sell button of a uh, particular resource if you have too much of it. Now on the right hand side here, next to the build options, we have the building hotkeys. So I have set three already. So the city hall is one. Uh, the market is 2 and the archery range is 3. So to set them, you click on the building and then you press control and then the number that you want to set it in. So for example, this market here, um, it is currently number 2, but if I hold control and 1, it also sets it in that control group. So this is very similar to other RTS games, um, if you're familiar with uh, either Age of Empires or Starcraft. They have the same kind of mechanic and to jump between them you just double um, click the number in your keyboard so if I double click three it jumps to my archery range double click two it jumps back to the market so that's an easy way to quickly jump uh, between selecting different buildings for setting the rally point um, we can now set the workers to gather trees directly so um, normally if you just have the rally point set out in the open they'll just walk to that location but if you uh, select the city hall and right click on a tree and now when we build a worker it'll come out and it'll start chopping down trees so without having to manually um, select each worker to do that manually um, that's actually pretty good. We see that in other games as well, like StarCraft, and uh, the rally point also is the same for other buildings where you want to select the rally. Um, so you can also just right click um, on the military buildings to get units out. So I'll just train a archer there and we'll just see him walk out. We also have a hotkey for deleting a building or destroying it, so you just need to select a building. So for this uh, example, we're going to click the house and I'm going to press delete 
you know, ask me to destroy the building. So that's just another hotkey that's been added to the game. Um, the other general hotkey we have is for building. So if we press B on the keyboard, and there's the um, hotkeys like uh, QWERTY. So I'm pressing Q. Uh, so that brings up the farm. W. I'm not sure what that was. E is for the house. R is the shipyard. T is the tower. And also the letters below it. So A gave you barracks. S for archery range. D for stable. F for workshop. G for the college. So that's just a kind of quick way to build things. So for example, if you wanted to build a farm real quick, um, you just press B and Q and I'll bring up the farm to build for you. So maybe I should try that again with the building option not selected. Okay, so B, Q, and then I can quickly build a farm just like that. So the other thing you could do now with your units is left click on the units you want and right click to move them directly on the minimap. So for example, if you wanted to move them uh, quickly without having to pan all the way, you could just uh, right click on the minimap. So this is also a feature that's pretty common on other RTS games. And of course the usual pan of the screen when you move your mouse towards the edge, it moves the camera. The other camera control you could use is the zoom in and out. So we do this by using the scroll wheel. So if you scroll the wheel up, it'll zoom in. If you scroll um, down, it'll scroll out and zoom out. So this is a really good way to see a big overview of the action. So this would be great for when you are spectating a game or if you're just looking to see where everything is happening. Um, we can see a lot of the action on the map right here. And that is just um, a nice feature to have. But yeah, definitely when you are playing on PC, we definitely have better um, potential for micro. So that's controlling your units. Um, so in this case, I'm just going to bring some workers and um, attack. Uh, this isn't really ideal. You would obviously want to use actual um, uh, archers or something else. But since the workers have a, a ranged attack, we can now um, kind of move them back and forth. So uh, that's a way to micro much better. So I had 10 workers there and I can control them much easier. Um, I'm just gonna move around and flank them while my ally here takes them uh, on the front. Whoa. So unfortunately, these this is one of the reasons you don't use workers to attack because um, they if you accidentally right click a tree, they'll start gathering. But yeah, I'm Currently kiting some of these um, infantry there, they couldn't even hit me. Um, and I am just shooting them from afar. And I'm just gonna get that worker back, he's trying to collect wood. But yeah, that's just a quick example of um, the micro potential. It's much easier now to micro and uh, basically keep your units alive that way. So that about does it for this quick video. Um, the gameplay in general is quite smooth and this is going to be great for people who want to uh, record the game or uh, make videos because it's um, much better than trying to use Bluestacks or record on your phone um, itself. So definitely a great opportunity for other content creators to make videos for this game. So yeah, if you like this update, make sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a like below, um, and I'll see you guys next time.